And joining us right now is one of the true legends of comedy. He'll be performing up at uh, the Ruth Eckert Hall on February 2nd or up in Clearwater. And it's a great pleasure to welcome Don Rickles for the program today. And Don, how are you? Pretty good, Doug. Thank you. It's good to talk to you. And I know this time of year you, you kind of make your Florida swing. I, I know last year you came uh, to Sarasota. That's uh, that's where our station is. But our listening audience uh, uh, does also include Clearwater. But uh, I guess you like the old Florida swing in the winter, right? Oh, yeah. It's always nice to go back. Didn't you start in Miami? Yeah, I started in a little place so oh, some 100,000 years ago, a little place called Murray Franklin's uh, on 23rd and Collins, which no longer exists. Right. I know you talk about it on, on interviews about it, and uh, I guess that's what Miami was kind of like the Las Vegas of, of the South, wasn't it, back then? Well, well at that Clark time, uh, well, now it's South Beach, but uh, at that time, uh, you know, the Fontainebleau area and the Doral and the... Uh, and the, and the uh, all, the, all the hotels up there, you know, were, were pretty active. And they really were. It's uh, it has changed, like you said. I know. And then on the fourth, you're heading over to uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, the Frank Sinatra Theater. Is that uh, is that the old Jackie Gleason Theater? or Is that a different place? No, that used to be the Sunrise. Okay, I know what that. Yeah, is. I worked there years ago when it was called the Sunrise when it first opened. That's great, yeah. And uh, I know last year you were down here in Sarasota, and, and the people always love you down here. Hope you'll make it down here next year, but uh, uh, some of the fans can drive up to, to Clearwater. And uh, do, just a couple of things, as, if we have a chance to talk to you. I know uh, you've been uh, doing the Dean Martin uh, roast uh, uh, videos on TV recently. That must have been a lot of fun for you to come yeah, well, yeah, tell us about it that. It brings back a lot of memories, you know. I, those, were, those were fun days, those roasts, so... Uh, they asked me to, to host a few of them, and I enjoy doing that. Yeah, I got those a few years ago uh, on the VCR. I think it's available on uh, on DVD now, and those were a lot of fun. I, I grew up watching those, and, and uh, you don't see that kind of comedy on TV as much anymore. It's kind of a shame. Well, no, I, I, you know, that was unique with Dean, and uh, all. <laughs> unfortunately, a lot of the people are gone now that were on those rows, but uh, it was an exceptional amount of talent that used to go on those, and Greg Garrison, who... He's gone to arrest this, so he, he he made it really come alive. Really did, yeah. Those were, were, like you said, huge stars on that show. And, of course, you were kind of the, the wrap-up guy on those, and everybody kind of looked forward to when you would come on, and, and it was a lot of fun to watch you do that. And uh, just kind of reminiscing again, too, uh, uh, growing up uh, in New York, uh, must-see TV. We were talking about it on the show earlier in the week, Don, knowing you were going to be on. And whenever we knew that Don Rickles was going to be on Johnny Carson, uh, you knew you had to watch that night. Uh, what great nights those were. Well, they... they they always told me it was an adventure, and uh, I got to realize it was because uh, Johnny, uh, who's gone, was, was was great to work with. He uh, he always gave you space, and he always made you look good. I, there wasn't a time that I wasn't on that it didn't become an adventure and uh, with a great deal of fun. It really was, and. Uh all that ad lib, really. I mean, I guess you may have had a couple of ideas what you're going to do, but I think once you got out there, it seemed like uh, this was kind of a free for all, and I think that's what made it so great. It was well, spontaneous. It's amazing, Doug. You would say that because it 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 really was. I mean, he would make uh, we'd have notes, of course, what we're going to do and say, and never get to them. <laughs> uh, for example, I'd say, "How?" He'd ask me, "How's your mother?" Which had nothing to do with anything we were going to talk about. And I would start him by saying, "You, well, why do you care? You don't even know my mother, and you don't even <laughs> like her. You know all that kind of stuff." <laughs> And and I think, too, whenever you go on Letterman, uh, it's a little bit like that, too. I love when you go on with him. Oh, it's and amazing. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, Dave is, uh, is pretty close to the, the Johnny style, and uh, it's always great when I'm in New York to get an opportunity to be on Letterman. He's, uh, he, he has a lot, of, uh, a lot of the Johnny Carson style in him. He really does, yeah. You can tell he's obviously hugely influenced by, by Johnny, but it, but it's great to uh, whenever you're on there. And uh, I know I was watching TV uh, a couple of weeks ago. I think the Turner Classic Movies had uh, one of my favorite movies that you were in, Kelly's Heroes. You know, Doug, uh, it's amazing. That was done some, oh, God, almost, well, some, almost 40 years ago, and uh, it became a cult film. And uh, it seems uh, and a lot of the people at Garment were in that show, but it was uh, it was great. It was a great time, and uh, nobody ever realized that it would be uh, last the way it has, and uh, people still enjoy it. And uh, I think a lot of people may may not be aware, but you actually studied at uh, the Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York. Uh, to yes, be, uh, I did. And, uh, 
when I graduated, people were in shock. They grabbed their diplomas and fell on the floor, <laughs> not believing I joined them. <laughs> no, I mean, you, you've done some great dramatic work. I know Run Silent, Run Deep, that's been on recently on, uh, on TCM. Oh, has it really? Yeah. yeah. That, was the first, that was the first film, to my recollection, that I ever did with Clark Gable and Burt Lancaster. I, I believe it was one of the story. essentials. They have a, a, yeah, they have a series called The Essential Films, and that was one of them not too long ago. So uh, that, was a, that was a great movie that you did as well. And I know you, you still do movies. You did uh, a Toy Story recently, didn't you? Then you did some on HBO, right? Yeah, I did a, a Toy Story 2, and uh, now they're talking about pre-production on Toy Story 3, which uh, I look forward to uh, doing Mr. Potato Head again. That's so, right, Mr. Uh, Potato Head. <laughs> Fun. Those are great, yeah, and that's uh, that's that's easier work, I guess. You just kind of do it as an old radio show, right? The voiceover, and then they animate it to you later on, right? Yeah, well, that's what you do. You, everybody, you know, you you sit in a booth, and they tell you what's what's going on, and once in a while they have it on the screen, but most times, uh, they, <coughs> when we did Toy Story, excuse me, the director usually told you over well, earphones what what was happening, and then you re, you would react to whatever was going on. Talking with Don Rickles, and we just got about a minute or so left, but I, I want to ask you one quick question. Sure. Uh, I saw your, your, your old friend Bob Newhart on with David Steinberg last week on the sit-down comedy show. Uh, first of all, I hope you're going to be on that show, and uh, have you been traveling with Bob lately? No, uh, you know, and with uh, all our responsibilities now, you know, Bob has grandchildren, and I have grandchildren, and we've been pretty much tied down here in the States, so, but we look forward to having one big trip left in us, or maybe hopefully more, but as of, as of the moment, we haven't traveled. To, uh, we see each other quite a bit, but uh, nothing like it was in the old days. Yeah, I love when, uh, especially after Johnny passed away last year, you and Bob went on with Jay Leno. That, that was a great night of, uh, oh, of thank memories. You. Yeah, I, I was very, I was very proud to be part of that. Yeah, it really was. It was a. I mean, it's sad, obviously, that he passed away, but I, uh, just the, the humor that you added that night, it, it kind of made it a lot easier for everybody, I think. Well, Donna, you'll be performing uh, February 2nd up at Ruth Eckert in Clearwater, and then on the 4th in Fort Lauderdale. And if you want to check out Don's website, aptly named thehockeypuck.com. It's a great website, Don. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Doug, for being here. So aware of your bike career, I appreciate. it. Well, I was a big fan of yours growing up in New York. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to talk to you, and hopefully, we'll do it again when you come to Sarasota next year. Well, please do. Thanks, Don. Thank you a million. Good luck.